So um, as you can see, Matterport has actually been around a very long time, but they started out as a virtual tour company, um, meaning that they launched their original Pro One camera in 2014 um, and slowly rolled out features. Like you couldn't even go to multiple floors until sometime in early 2015. Um, but the thing that really got me excited about it was that in late 2015, when Oculus um, paired up with Samsung and they released the Gear VR, that meant that any Matterport space could be ported into VR and could be viewable. So it was really an all-in-one camera viewing virtual reality system. And that got me so excited uh, because I saw all of the potential for that and what it could do for marketing and for real estate marketing. Um, and just generally speaking, for transporting people to new places and experiences. Um, so Matterport existed as a virtual tour company for a long time, um, you know, putting together partnerships with people like Leica uh, or companies like Leica so that they could overcome challenges such as scanning uh, large open spaces or large spaces. The BLK is a much more accurate and robust um, scanning device. Um, it also costs a lot more, um, more like I think 18 or $19,000. Um, and then, you know, Matterport did a really interesting thing. They opened up their SDK, um, which meant that they sort of were willing to have other people um, develop software on their platform and therefore have third party companies start to think up solutions that they may not be able to actually develop in house. Um, all spaces were an eventually enabled for virtual reality, and now you see the goggles on every single space. Um, but in the past, you know, we used to spend, for example, like $500 to get a space converted into VR. And now that's just something that um, is possible on every single tour. Um, and the, the thing that changed though, the big thing that changed was that in early 2020, um, in January, 2020, Matterport rebranded itself with a new logo and a new spin on what they do, which is that they said that they were now a digital twin company. So digital twin is mega jargon. It gets uh, thrown around a lot. Um, and one of the things that um, digital twin is, is it is a, you know, a way for um, people to collaborate, um, you know, about the information of, of in a space. And so you'll see that, for example, in 2021, uh, Matterport launched this notes collaboration, which allows um, people who are, uh, you know, on a team or working together, they can use um, annotations to uh, mark up scenes and share information and notes back and forth. Um, it also means that that 3D um, point cloud or that point cloud data um, can be exported and used in um, construction or to you know visualize uh, s building systems and IoT. So. When Matterport has said that it is going from being, you know, a virtual tour company to a digital twin company, one of the things that's really interesting is that, you know, that might mean that Matterport is a bit of overkill for a residential real estate property. Um, and I would actually agree that many times that it is um, because the power behind the system can do so much more, but we barely scratch the surface with most of our uh, clients that we're, um, you know, offering this to and that we're, um, you know, making this content 